The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey people, it's me again. There's a surprise, right? Okay, I'm doing one more video on this setup here before I go start washing out my um, lava rock that I have to put in the bottom. And I'll show you another reason why you need lava rock. See, just that fast we have algae. So, need something in there to help protect the water from the sunlight. But as you can see, I have my first four towers installed and the water is running through them. I'll show you how I'm doing things up here. These hangers that I created, boy, where's a good angle to see that from? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, those hangers are nothing but a J-bolt that I cut the threads off. Make sure you put the nut on there before you cut the threads off. And then they just go through a small strip of pipe hanger strap. And those straddle the uh, conduit going over the top. And just to make sure that the threads don't come loose, just put a drop of Gorilla Glue on there to gum up the threads. But, as you can see, the water connects to the cap, just like I explained. I'm using parachute cord on these to hang them because I don't want the acids in the water to rot the, the string. So if I was using cotton twine, these would probably last about a week. Um, if you look into the towers you can see that water hits every single one of those planter pockets just fine and the main reason for that is this new cap design you can see that's the old cap design where your water went in the top there and then this went in and that just split it up in four ways the new cap design is more like a sprinkler head. The top part of that comes out if you ever need to clean out the cap. But that distributes the water. This one distributes the water a whole lot better than that one does. And that's the reason that the towers actually have water hitting in every pocket on there. But now comes the fun part of washing the lava rock, but I have a cement mixer for that, so makes it easier to tumble it and dump out the yucky water until I have it all clean. But as you can see, these rails going left and right drain into this one. Oops, that one drains into the one going the full length of the greenhouse, and it returns to the sump. And this other piece of black tubing that splits off here is getting replaced it's just temporary they cut a styrofoam slug out of insulation to cover that up and help keep the algae out of there but I figured I would post this video really quick while well while you can still see what's going on but I'm gonna get off of here and uh, go watch some lava rock and then I'll start planting these things sometime later in the week uh, I'm gonna do like what you've seen before with other towers where the front one gets planted and then they just rotate backwards so whatever plants are in the very back tower are gonna be the ones that you harvest so that's all for now have a good one people I have a project today. Bye.